you doing after you summon after you summon summon sork? You know? Um Ferrazo, Jib Beef. Summon something from your hand uh, to your opponent. It pop. Wait, what? I haven't read Summon Sorcerers in a while, to be honest. You're saying give your opponent a monster? Does she do that? Two plus monsters of the same type except tokens. If this card is Link Summon, you can special summon one monster from your hand. In defense position to your opponent zone this card. Wow, I totally forgot. I totally forgot she even did that. Oh, I guess that's how you like you uh you summon based on that type. Um you can target one face up monster discard points to special summon one monster from the deck in defense position with the same type as that monster to a zone discard points to but negates effects. I'm still not seeing how it's broken though. Like for for like to I mean like, give my opponent a worm and summon, like, Mare Mare or something, I guess? You know what I mean? She's easy access. I'm horny. Um, wait, are you guys saying easy access is in, like, access code talker? What? As I just... What deck can't summon access code talker now, chat? Like, what deck can't do that? Every, de every deck can, like, do that already. They just, they just do this card. Where's it at? They just use this card. Access code, Banworthy. Um, no easy access to anything. You mean anything is in like links or anything is in like cards that you're gonna, I just, I don't, what's the end game chat? Just tell me what the end game is with Summon Sorcerers. Like I just, I just don't see what the, what the end game is. So like you give your opponent a monster or something, or even if you have something linked to her, like what do you, like what was the point of this? Ghost trick can't summon access. Oh, okay. Press one if um access code not good because ghost trick can't summon it. That's the new standard on this stream. Can ghost trick summon it? That's the new standard. If ghost trick can't summon it, probably not a good card. Uh, <laughs> summon Elvish. <laughs> That, actually, that sounds good, except the whole, def except the defense part. Yeah. Uh, can't summon Mare Mare with her. Oh, the Mare Mare would be negated. Yeah, it, it wouldn't even matter if you summon Mare Mare. It would be negated anyways. Trigate Wizard, Gombi, uh, Goblin, Zombie. Like, n look, none of y'all have proven to me, like, that she needs to stay banned. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that I'm right. That summon source can summon sort can like be unbanned. I'm not saying like I'm definitively right. Um, like I don't know. I don't, I don't just throw out cards. Uh, I'm not saying I'm definitively right. But what I am saying is like I feel pretty confident that if we unban summon sort, but the plays just like wouldn't be there. Cause she's I think she's really dependent on Link Force chat. And again, if you look at like Yu-Gi-Oh when she got banned, Gumblar, Firewall. Now you look at Link 4s and it's like, Appaloosa for two? You know, it's just pretty much access code. People don't even play Borlo, uh, Boral Sword Dragon anymore. Do we, do we have that Boral 5 chat? The, the Borlo 5 Dragon? The, I don't know what his name is, but the, I think it's like Boral and or some shit like that. Like, if we get that, like, okay, maybe. If we get, if we get, if we get the Boral 5, there's like a slight chance you can change my opinion because like, okay, now you can go past four and you can get something kind of nuts. But we don't have like Link 5s in Yu-Gi-Oh that do anything. I think the arrival is a six, right? Is he a six? Yeah, I think he's a six. It's coming in GOAT. Wait, isn't that set out? Or am I thinking of Gold Series? Bro, I'm, I'm too disconnected. I'm sorry. It's nutty. Okay, yeah, fair enough. That's the that I'm thinking that might be like the only card that like changes my opinion. Is like the Boro and Dragon. Like if you go for Summon Sword, cause let me read them. Yeah, this one. Three plus effect. Yeah, okay, okay. That might be like go for Summon Source, summon another monster, go for Boro, and like that. That actually sounds kind of that sounds kind of juicy, chat. Cause this one is like effect negation. It's also like the spell speed four cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects. Can't be targeted by monster. Yeah, this card's kind of nuts. Can attack all monsters. Target an effect monster on the field. 
and a rocket in the graveyard to get the effects if you do special summon a monster from your graveyard. Yeah, this this card's kind of nuts. But other than that, like, you know, I'm not saying I'm not feeling it. Have I looked at the set list for Ghost of the Past two? No, no one is no one has posted it, chat or uh, BP. If any of you guys post the Ghost, yeah, like I I want to look at it, but I just want the org. And if, if org doesn't have something, chat, like I'm I'm really not gonna like hunt stuff down. Unless it's on either org or basically like on Facebook. I just happen to see it on Zodiac or something like that. Or Zodiac. It basically needs to be on like the front page of org for me to notice it. And everything is like, uh, you know, the championships, uh, the last cards from Power of the Elements, uh, Russia Duel, Russia Duel, Russia Duel, Russia Duel. Um, I'm on my phone. Check the Pedia. Yu Gi Oh! Ghost of the Past 2 Wiki. Let's see what we got, chat. Ghost from the Past 2, the second haunting. Boo. Alright, let's see. Red Dragon Archfiend. Okay, so some of these we knew. Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. I feel like I've seen this card before. It's obviously new to the TCG. If this face-up card is destroyed and a monster zone, you can place it in spell. So it's a crystal beast. When it okay, when an attack is declared involving a crystal beast, you can spell summon this card from your hand. That's kind of cool. Banish this continuous spell. Summon one level four lower crystal beast. Oh, oh no! Oh my god! This was so close to being insane. So you can banish it when it's a crystal. It would, bro. If it didn't negate the monster effect, that would have been crazy. It would have just been like a free teleport. Well, not teleport. I don't know. What do we call it when you just summon a monster from deck? I don't think we have like a word for that. I, I usually say teleport. Let's just go with teleport. Um, yeah, that would have been insane. Summon Carbuckle from the deck and just summon all your crystal beasts. Teleport, last... Yeah, I, usually people say, like, teleport. This is a 2019 card. If it just didn't have this right here, Rai, if it just let you use the monster effect, and then you get to add an ultimate crystal from, I think, Rainbow Dark Drak. They really need to define, like, what ultimate crystal monsters are. I, I think it's all, like, the the non-seven crystal beasts. I think, like, Rainbow Dark Dragon is an ultimate crystal. I think Rainbow Dragon's probably an ultimate crystal... It's, it's kind of like, it's, I don't know. Um, oh, they all get errated? They say Ultimate Crystal in their name? So it's, it's like Ultimate Crystal Rainbow Dragon? Is that is that what you're telling me? Okay, so Boral, Boral, yeah, he is here. When does this set come out? Oh, it comes out, oh, it comes out, okay, it comes out soon. Because I'm like, bro, aren't people already opening this? Infernity Sage... Ooh, I've never seen this one. During your main phase, you can discard your entire hand. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can send one Infernity monster from your deck to the graveyard. You must have no cards in your hand to activate and resolve this effect. Um, I don't know. I mean, I kind of feel. I feel like it should say like you can summon an Infernity from the graveyard. <laughs> I mean, I guess that would just like power creep necromancer, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, right? To make stuff good. Fossil machine skull buggy, puppet queen, samsara dragon, time thief, rookie warrior lady. So all the agent stuff is in here. Chat, why is um Insector Hornet in this set? Are we getting a, a is the Insector card that was in Grand Craters also in here or what? Uh, you're getting a spell it. What from from what card? What card in here is a punishment target? Tell me now. Yeah, what 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 card what card in here is a punishment target? That's what I'm that's what I'm interested in. Why do they keep re randomly reprinting Insector shit? Like, either make Insectors good or just stop, Konami, okay? 
Like, stop, stop with this in between. Either make the deck good or just stop. Oh, the plunder stuff is in here. All right, that's cool. And they're all ultra. Alibur, we knew about. Malefic, Cyber, and Dot Scraper. Dark Magician, the Dragon Knight. Let's see. One of the Fossil Fusions. That's what I thought for some reason. Why are they reprinting this? Damn, this set is big. Chad, how many cards is this set? It's 177 cards. Jesus. Not gonna lie. For this to be 177 cards, kind of don't... I, I like really don't see anything I want. Like, I, I guess if I had to say... Oh, 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 God. Needle fiber's in here. <laughs> needle fiber, needle fiber is in here. I think he's expensive, by the way. Like, I, th I think he's, I think he's a like expensive. Oh, suckers in here. I think she's expensive. Um, like I guess if you ask me, like Cap, you gotta get something. Probably the plunder stuff. Uh, they put all. I mean, the Despia stuff is like they put the branded stuff in here is cool. The ghost rares are cool. But, like, we got Insector stuff in here for some reason. Like, we got Ghost Tricks in here for some reason. He was 45 bucks. Sucker is exp I, She was. Because I, I don't think Vampire Sucker had ever been reprinted. I sold my nibs, by the way, chat. I sold my nibs. I sold that flu. I, I sold the Flunder card. I sold my 3D shifters. See, look. Well, actually, okay, never mind. I guess she got kind of... Like, originally, she was... I guess just in flood. Okay, never mind. I guess, guess not. Red eyes, ne zombie necro dragon. Okay, that's that. That doesn't what's it called. Um, chat. When are we getting that new zombie stuff? Is that in? Is that in the next core set? Is that in? Um, that must be in docs. That must be in a uh, dement. Not. Dimension of God, what's the name of that set? The set with the fucking ritual on it. Dimension of Chaos. No, that's another set. Oh my god, I actually just don't know what our next core set is called. It can't be Dimension of Chaos, because that's the set with VLS on it. I think. Or it's that, that that's like an RV set. Dimension Force! Okay, I'm like, I think it has the word dimension in it. Dude, I got dementia, chat. And we don't know what the name of the set afterward, after, um, power, no, I think, I think we do. I think they announced what the set name is, chat, but, like, I, I forgot it. Yeah, I, I think they did announce what the, um, the set that comes after Power of the Elements, I think they announced what it was. Dark Wing Blast. It's kind of cringe. <laughs> Dark Wing Blast. That's, that's kind of cringe. What, 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 what is that? Darkwing? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So... After GX comes 5Ds, right? Oh, it's a black, it's a black wing set. <laughs> it's a black wing set. Um, wait, is this Exile? Is this Exile? What came after uh, Blazing Vortex? Was it Dawn of Majesty? Or was it Lightning? Oh, it was Lightning Overdrive! Was it Lightning? Oh, it's a Zexel set! So, it'll be... Dark Wing Blast. Okay, I'm just gonna ignore the wing part. Dark Blast. Who's someone evil from, like, Zexel? Because the first the first person that came to my mind was, like, Kite. But, like, I'm pretty sure all the... Like, every card he plays is Light Attribute. So, it's not going to be Shark, because he plays Water. Don Thousand. Raid Raptor. I mean, yeah, maybe it'll be another Don... Maybe it'll be Don Thousand. Dark Wings could be Fallen Angels. I mean, but would they name... Would they name this set after, like, a... After something that wasn't on the cover? Um... I mean, I guess they did it for Gladiator's Assault. But Konami doesn't traditionally do that, chat. Like, usually when you name a set, 
whatever that you know like the the this the theme of the set is going to be in the name you know what i mean so i'm thinking star seraphs they're also light though you know they named burst of destiny after dpe they were right by the way to name that <laughs> the name burst of destiny konami realized like what the most powerful card in this set was everyone was on sword soul and all this they're like no actually that that random that, that random fusion monster that's gonna be that's gonna be the what's it called? Dark Arm Dragon, Numeron set. I guess it could be um I guess it could be uh any of those. 